I'm Guy Dial. I'm Gabrielle. And this is our swing analysis. Take charge of your game. Hello and thanks for tuning in to me and my golf TV. We are coaches Piers and Andy and as you can see it's time for my swing analysis. Get involved today, go to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, enter the competition and hopefully it will be yourselves. Thank you for the intro Guy and Gabrielle. Uh, Gabrielle, we're not doing your swing analysis this week, that'll be next week. So Guy, it's all about you today. Yes, he's got a week extra practice. <laughs> yes, more than, yes. More than Gabrielle. Ooh. So yeah, we're on the 18th here, the beautiful 18th par 3 at the Asprey and we're going to take a look at Guy's golf swing. Really good player, handicap three. Um, so he's obviously very good anyway, but he'd like to get a little bit better players. His long game uh, is his strength, yep. but he can miss the target right and left. So he'd just like to be a little bit more consistent really. Now, um, he's currently worried about his grip. He thinks, he knows his grip is maybe strong and he's worried is influencing um, his shots. Is it yep. causing any problems? So we're gonna talk a little bit about that and then, and then sort of just go into our recommendations of what we would do really. So let's look at the front on view first and you can see there that the, the grip is ever so slightly strong, a little bit round to the right. But as we move into the golf swing here, fantastic looking um, golf swing here, really good body movement. You can see his left foot is rotated or, or flared out a lot at the start. We'll talk about that as we go through, but really good from the front on view, plenty of rotation of the body as he swings through the ball here. Now let's have a look from the down the line view. This is where we're gonna really highlight some of the key things. So. Setup looks very neutral. We can see here, backswing looks very nice. At the top of the golf swing there, we're gonna see that he has got that little bit of a stronger club face position yep. or closed face position at the top. Now, everything that he does now on the way down is to protect the ball going to the left. And we see this with a lot of good players. Dustin Johnson, they mm -hmm. have to work their body extremely hard. Great rotation of the body through the golf ball. Everything on the way down is doing very good, but as we go through the golf ball here, we're gonna notice that there's a, a lot of club face rotation past the impact pierce. So you can see there through the ball here, loads of rotation through the golf ball, and then through to this finish here. So um, some great things going on. Yep. Now, the grip is a very personal thing, Pierce, mm -hmm. isn't it? For somebody who's been playing a long time, who's handicap three, to make the grip changes would be very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, that's something that, that would have to be a conscious decision from you, Guy. Now, if you, if you were to handicap 25, we'd say, look, yep. probably yes, it'd be a good idea. But the fact that you're missing the target right and left, we would say, well, look, if you're missing both sides, let's take one of those out of the equation. Let's give you a miss where you one side, you know it's going to miss either right or left. Now, better players often don't want to miss it left, do they, mm. So we're going to take the left side out of the equation yep. today um, by really looking at the golf swing. Now, Setup looks great. We notice that the left foot's flared out, Pierce. Keep that. That's going to help him, isn't it? Rotate through. But more in the golf swing, really. Um, he, certainly past impact. Yeah. We can give him something that's going to take that left side out of the course, out, and, of, the, uh, out of the equation. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people say, well, why do you focus on what happens past impact? The ball has already been hit. But actually, what will happen is if you can focus on what's happening past or just through the golf ball, it often affects what happens before that. So you need to bear that in mind. So we're going to employ two very good ball strikers here when we're talking about this. We're going to deploy GMAC, Graham McDowell, and actually Jack Nicholas. And the one thing that we'll say quickly about Jack Nicholas, he was asked a question once, how come you won so many major championships? He says, well, I never hooked the golf ball when the pressure was on. And he felt that he would never hook the golf ball because he said that the toe of the golf club would never pass the heel through the ball. Now, we know that that's incorrect. We know that actually does happen, but he felt as though that happened. Now, the other, th the other person we mentioned there was GMAC, and we know that GMAC has got obviously this bowed wrist which closes the face and he has a very distinctive finish. So when he swings through, he very quickly recoils into his finish position. As you can see here, Andy, the shaft is pretty much matched up to my spine angle there. So he comes through the shot and then recoils back into this position here. It's as though he doesn't want the club face turning too much to the left. Exactly. He's protecting exactly protecting that it, shot. Absolutely. So we're going to do two things then, Pierce. Obviously, yep. A little bit of Jack Nicholas yep. and then a little bit of GMAC. If you can put these two things into your, into your golf swing, then you're certainly going to take out one side of the course and have a predictable ball flight. Gabrielle's got no chance if we put those she two hasn't. together. <laughs> so let's go through to this first position and then Nicholas. Okay. I'm going to hold my hand if Pierce will go nice and slow. Oh, we don't want to break another wrist, do we? <laughs> so nice chance. and slow here. So as he swings through here, we're going to focus. He's getting the club face flush against my hand, the palm of my hand. And we can see that club face now is pointing to the sky. Now, currently, we know that Guy is somewhere more like this. Now, we're saying that you're gonna feel this guy. In reality, you're not gonna get anywhere near this, but you're gonna certainly feel this. Now, if we go from here now to the GMAC finish, it's a lot easier. 
there's a lot less face rotation and we're taking out that sort of extra rotation of that club face. And you can see here that, you know, just exactly what you just said there, Andy, that face is again pointing more upward as opposed to someone, when we're saying someone we want them to draw it or stop slicing it, we're going to get them more rotated through the ball, definitely. So, yeah, I think it's really good, really useful exercise to rehearse, swinging through to here, even hit shots, swinging through to here, so you'll notice the body is really turning but the face rotation is being delayed through the hit and then from there get into that recoil position just like so. Definitely, it's a great practice thing for you to do. If you're on the range, you're just hitting shots, avoiding missing that target left. Even hitting some fades just off target. I think it was Lee Trevino says you can talk to a fade but a yeah. puck won't listen. And I think if you can take that left side out of the course, you're going to be a lot more of a consistent player. So Pierce, okay. 18th here, the flag is left. You are not allowed to miss the target okay. left. I want to see a nice little fade here. I feel here. like I'm aiming left as well. I'm going to flare that foot out like Guiders because I really do like that. So I'm going to give it the GMAC finish on this the one. GMAC finish, okay. Oh, it's a, Tell you what, oh come on, good. cut back a little bit. Oh, that's definitely going to be right now. There we go. But definitely you can see that finish there. You know, very much that shaft up on the spine oh, angle. Very, spine. very important. There we go. Now, the, the big thing here is, Guy, we've said... In our recommendation, if you came to us for a golf lesson on the practice tee, we would not get you to change your grip. Now, you mentioned in your uh, email to us that your short game is getting better, could be better. The big thing I would say with a short game, we recommend this on the low shots, absolutely fine with your grip. But if you need height on your pitch shots around the green, going over bunkers and what have you, definitely look to neutralize the right hand. Anybody who gets that right hand too far around to the right and gets that club face strong on the way back, they're generally not very good when it comes to height on the chip shots. So if you want to improve your short game, I would definitely think about changing it for that. Definitely a slightly easier change to make. Definitely. It? Okay, so some simple things there. Bit of Jack Nicholas, bit of GMAC, two great golfers to emulate there. Post your questions, guys. What are you struggling with? How can we help you? And make sure you enter the competition because we could be helping you over this winter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that. So all of you guys who missed the target to the left, get that GMAC finish and it can hopefully help you. Now also, what else could help you is if you hit the subscribe button, you get to see more videos like this every single week. Yes, definitely. If you're really serious about improving your game, also make sure you check out our website, meandmygolf.com. Click the link in the corner. We've got some fantastic instruction and videos on there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.